Stephanie Inglis with Lake Life Realty. I'm here to introduce our next community hero, Maria Found. She's been a resident of Wolfboro for over 20 years and is currently a math teacher at Brewster. She was recommended by many people in the community and her goal is to get community involvement between the school and the, the town residents themselves. So let's see what she had to say. My name is Maria Found. I've lived here in Wolfboro for 23 years. I teach at Brewster Academy. I have a husband who also teaches here and two children, one of which is a sophomore in college and my daughter is a junior at Brewster. So I teach AP Calculus AB and AP Calculus BC. I'm also an Emotional Literacy and SEL Launch teacher. I'm a community life parent. I'm a faculty mentor. And in the summertime, I was a Thai Scholars Academic Dean and I taught the TOEFL program. And then I also work as an NEASC accreditation member. So some of the clubs and organizations that I'm involved with in the community are mostly community service oriented clubs. And one of them is a Brewster Big Friends. Another one is a Random Acts of Kindness group. Best Buddies of New Hampshire. A Girls on the Run program. I'm a math club advisor. I helped uh, with the Wolf Girl Serves group and also a NHS faculty advisor. I think it's really important to be involved in the community because I personally grew up with a father and mother who were very service-based and gave back. So we did things like Meals on the Wheels. We would go from house to house and sing uh, different songs to families during the Christmas time. And that grew, I felt that that made me become a very caring and empathetic and kind person. So I want for students in our school to experience the same thing and to interact with the community here so that Wolfboro can see Brewster has some amazing people and we, we have so many kids here that why not give back to the community? Why not be a huge impact? So for example, we have a Brewster Big Friends group here. Now that club primarily focuses around youth and working with little kids and helping them have fun but at the same time meet other students and kids in the area. Uh, we have a Girls on the Run program. That was an amazing, we just started this year, is such an amazing program. They have a curriculum that we utilize which helps young girls develop their confidence and self-esteem through a running program. The Best Buddies Club, that club is a phenomenal group of people who work with kids with IDD, that's Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities. And so we'll interact with students from all over, whether it's Wolfboro or Meredith or Interlakes or Bow, and the players will come and we traditionally will do soccer in the spring, we do basketball in the winter time, and we do flag football in the Spring. All of those games are called unified games because they're a mixture of students that go to school here in the local community as well as those that have IDD. And we always follow up with a social gathering, so we traditionally would bring the kids to brunch here at the Estabrook at Brewster Academy. It's a great way for them to meet other students just milling around in the dining hall. So some of the other programs we do uh, are National Honor Society. Worked hard to begin a Cyber Seniors program at Sugar Hill. That has been phenomenal, and the bonding between the residents at Sugar Hill and our students has been precious. So really, can you imagine going in and helping our seniors know how to work an iPhone to a computer, a Mac, or a PC? It's, it's quite fun. We really enjoy that. We also have a Wolfboro Serves group that started this year. And I do that with Reverend Gina and Pastor Bill. And that was primarily built around getting the Brewster students and the local day students in the area together to give back to the community. So one of the things we did for our kickoff meetings was to go to uh, Birch Hill Estates and break leaves. We just showed up and started raking leaves. I had one lady come out of her house and she was so touched. She started to tear up and I tell you, that's what makes your heart grow. That's what's so beautiful. I'm on the board of directors for the Granite State Adaptive and that has been phenomenal. So we work also with our Best Buddies group and I bring a lot of students, for example, in the wintertime, which is right now, to King Pine 
to do adaptive ski. So we'll work with blind skiers, skiers with cerebral palsy, uh, developmental disabilities. And if you can imagine taking a skier down a hill who cannot see, or a skier who cannot stand, but given the right equipment that they can, they can ski. As well as uh, we do a biking program in the summertime down Bridge Falls Path, another beautiful uh, area in, in this community. And we have an equine program. So it is, it is a wonderful, wonderful addition to be a part of that Granite State Adaptive. The um, other board of directors I'm on is the Kingswood Youth Center. And I just want to give a huge shout out to them. This is a group of people who are working very hard to help youth that just want a place to go to hang out, a safe place to go and hang out. And we do all kinds of things from hikes to feeding them after school, different talks, different people come in to educate them on a variety of things, whether it's vocational or it is educational or it is something that they are just going to use for life skills. So. Quite, quite phenomenal. What brought me to Wolfboro and why I chose to live here was primarily meeting my husband. I was a nanny down in Ipswich, Massachusetts, and they were avid skiers. So that's how I first met Matt Found. And really, he's a local. I fell in love with the area, and I just could not get enough of it. So I decided to get my master's at UNH, and then after that, I worked in the business world for a long time as vice president of a manufacturing company. But we wanted to have kids. And so working at a boarding school could not be more perfect. You're around kids all the time. I always look at it as getting a leg up on what teens are like and how to work with them. <laughs> and then, of course, having my kids be able to go to a school that was more um, specific and small and attentive. And then also, Really, the beauty of this area is, it's, it's just phenomenal. The programs that we have in this area for little kids is outstanding. So between the education of the older student to the fun things with the youth in this area, it, this is an unbelievable place to bring up a family.